This is the uh, actual or observed frequency table. This provides data on this is the data collected and uh, provided for conducting the chi-squared test of independence. You'll, you'll notice uh, something very important, two features of this table. Uh, the first is the number 100 in the bottom right-hand corner. This represents the sample size. Uh, this is n is equal to 100. So presumably, uh, data has been collected on 100 different people. The second point to notice about this table is that it has uh, uh, both columns and rows. Uh, the first row is male and female, which represents the first variable. And the second uh, um, variable, which is in the first column, is smoker and non-smoker. Uh, these are the two variables that are we, going to, we are going to test uh, to determine whether they are statistically independent or not independent. Uh, this will become our uh, null hypothesis. The null hypothesis always is that there is no relationship between the variables. Knowing the value of one does not help to predict the value of the other. Now let's set up the, uh, the uh, calculations required to conduct this uh, chi-squared test of independence. The first step is to uh, create a, an expected frequency, in fact an, an entire table that is often referred to as a theoretical or uh, expected uh, table. And uh, it has different values according to the number of sums of rows, columns, and sample size. Uh, we'll set this table up now. The uh, expected uh, or theoretical frequency table, you'll notice, uh, is colored green. And uh, it still has the same male or female, smoker, non-smoker. As well, the marginal values are exactly the same as the actual or observed frequency table. It's the values within the table that will be different. Uh, let's start with the first calculation uh, in the upper right, uh, upper left-hand corner, uh, males uh, smokers. Uh, to do this, we uh, take the values, uh, this is the value we're going to calculate now. To do this, we take uh, the values, the total number of smokers, 30, times the total number of men, 40, and then divide that by the sample size. 30 times 40 divided by 100 is equal to 12. That's the value that we put into the expected or theoretical frequency table. Let's do another one. We uh, will do the next one, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, position for uh, women that are smokers. Uh, we take, in this case, 30 once again, because we're looking at the smoking population. Uh, we take the number of women, 60, and divide by, once again, 100. This becomes 1,800 divided by 100 equals to 18. This is the number we put into the uh, theoretical table, or the expected table, in the slot for the smokers and women. Next, we'll do the, the value below, uh, in the bottom uh, left-hand uh, corner of this uh, of the expected table. Uh, in this case, we take the same row, the second row, which is 70, the total. We take the first column, which is 40, and divide it by, again, 100, the total sample size. Uh, this gives us a number of 28. Finally, we do the bottom right-hand uh, cell of this expected frequency table. For this we take the total of the second row, 70, the total of the second column, which is 60, and divide by 100. This gives us a value of 4200 divided by 100 equal to 42.